Well, every year, thousands of Palm Beach County students are encouraged to find a solution to youth violence by taking part in the Do the Right Thing Challenge. And I want to emphasize, right is W-R-I-T-E. Ten finalists have been announced and joining us right now to talk about this program. The challenge is Bill Bones. So, Bill, fill us in on Do the Right Thing. It's very interesting. Thanks, Stephanie. Over 30 thousand middle school students in Palm Beach County took the challenge and wrote essays in answer to this question. What's the cause of violence? How has it affected me? And what is a solution to doing something about the problem? And I'll tell you, we have chosen some incredible students with very powerful messages. The one girl ambassador, I mean, she overcame incredible domestic violence. She was left for dead as a child. Oh she was adopted and is now living a wonderful, healthy life as a student here in Palm Beach County. She's just one of the 30,000 plus students who have a message about this problem. And I was just flipping through the book. Some of these stories, very poignant and very personal, like you just mentioned, right. the one young lady who is is a survivor of domestic violence. Um, it's just incredible to see how it does have an impact on our on our youth. Yeah, it really does. You know, we ask the kids, what's the cause? And they all have a similar message. You know, they talk about the media and, you know, bullying and gangs and, and these video games that sometimes create a problem. But the best thing about it is they come up with powerful solutions. And that's why we're reaching out to middle school students. We want to get these kids while they're at their most impressionable age before they become jaded and before they become a member of a gang and we find that this really works the superintendent of the school system endorses this program it's administered by the schools but it's completely privately funded it's all private individuals in this community who support this financially I wish the book was available to the public because some of the pieces that these students wrote are incredible but it just it does go just to the students who partic participate in the schools we we produce a thousand copies and they're put in the school libraries each of the students get it for their family and friends but also the Library of Congress Congress. The sheriff in his trust fund, he completely funds this because the most important thing about these writings is that they're disseminated across the community. And it's not just the teachers that read about what these students go through. It's all of the different organizations, including one of the largest employers and largest corporations in Palm Beach County, Florida Crystals, home here in Palm Beach County. They fully fund this program and their executives and their employees read these stories so they really see and feel what's going on in the lives of these children. It's a fantastic program. And real quick, tomorrow, big day. Yes, that is the day in which we recognize the top 1%. Every one of the 32 participating schools will bring their 10 best students with their parents, with their teachers, and of course a lot of VIPs, the sheriff, the state's attorney, the mayor of Palm Beach County, will all be there to recognize these students for what they do about this problem and their efforts to solve it. Well, they are the future. Thank you so much, Bill, for being here today. A great program. To learn more about the Do the Right Thing Challenge, we've set up a link on WPBF.com.